Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and this is the first video in, in at least a couple of videos uh, that I'm going to show you how we uh, wrap up a aerial topographic survey. It's for a project we're working on in Gustine. I've done a couple of videos um, on the topics we're going to cover uh, in this set of videos already. So I've, I've, I've talked about spot elevations in Carlson, and I've also done a little bit on creating surfaces and contours in Carlson, but it's tricksy stuff, and and my people could use some some more help. So I wanted to do uh, do a couple more videos, even though I might we might cover some of the same ground. So on this particular project, uh, we did an aerial UAV aerial. So we have a, a surface model, a, a digital a DSM, and a, an ortho photo. And uh, one of my techs went in and did the feature extraction uh, in virtual surveyors. So we should have. Uh, good spot elevations and 3D break lines that we can use. So what I want to do in this first video is just show you guys again how to get set up for uh, spot elevation. So I'm doing this for Michaela and for Austin. I wanted to see how to do this. So okay, so the first thing uh, you want to do is uh, so I've got my spots drawing open here in Carlson, and uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to go in and make sure that we're we're set up properly for uh, uh, Carlson field to finish, okay? Because that's how we we automatically create the spot elevation blocks and labels, symbols and, and labels. So we want to come over here to the survey menu in Carlson, and um, we want to go to. Uh, I think we want edit field to finish codes, okay? And and so what you want to do here is you want to set your current code table, okay? So you can see when I open this up, it, it's not ready to go, okay? So we got to go get the file. Okay, so we're going to go into our our network, and uh, we're going to go uh, to uh, templates, RH CAD RH. Uh, sorry, templates RH CAD, and then we want um, in our Carlson folder. Okay, so we have we have two feature code libraries here that have this FLD extension, and we want. Because we're doing spot elevations, we want this one that says RH spot codes. Okay, so we're going to open that, and then we're going to hit open again. And so you can see here, uh, this this gives you the code, right? So these are the codes that that we need to use in our point descriptions to get this field to finish to work. And on this particular project, almost everything I have should be a ground. Okay, so it's it's not an improved site; it's a it's a farm. So it's going to be G and D spot. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and um, exit, okay, and uh, we should have that code library set now. And so what we want to do is we want to go look at our point file, because if the point file is not set up properly, then the codes aren't going to work. Okay, so we're going to open our point file here, and I'll pull that over, okay, and I immediately notice we got a couple problems with our point file. First of all, we can delete this header row, okay, my point numbers aren't in the right range, and we don't have good descriptions, okay. And this is because the tech that did the feature extraction didn't didn't uh, do it right, <laughs> didn't do this part right, okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to renumber our points, okay. So we're going to go look at our point number ranges, okay, because we want to make sure we use the right range. Okay, so topo point cloud, we start at 80,001. Okay, so we'll do that. So we're just going to start here at 8001. And we're going to make this 8002, 80,002. And then we're just going to drag that down so we get the right point numbers. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to give these all the same description, G and D spot. That will match what's in our feature code library, so that our field to finish will work. Okay, we're going to save those changes. <clears throat> now, the other thing you want to make sure you do before you you run your field to finishes, you want to make sure you set up your drawing scale. So I believe we're at a 20 scale for this. Okay. 
And uh, let's try this and see if it works. So uh, the other thing we need is uh, we need to get our points in the database. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to survey. Actually, it's points. So let's go to points. Uh, we're going to import an ASCII file. Okay, so we're going to go select that uh, point file that we've got. Okay, and let's see, that all looks good to me. Okay, then we want to uh, pick our uh, coordinate file. Okay, and somebody has one here, but I actually want to put this in my surface coordinate file. So I'm going to make a, um, we're going to make a new one. Okay, and we're going to call it surface because we want to use these same spot elevations for our surface too. Okay. So we're going to open that. Okay, so uh, we should have our points in here. Okay, and uh, we're going to give it a minute. It's going to draw the points. All right, guys, so <clears throat> it took a while. <laughs> took about 10 minutes to draw all these points. Um, so here's what we got. Uh, so this is what happens when you just get the points with the default uh, settings. So we haven't done field to finish yet. <clears throat> so these do not look anything like spot elevations, right? So we want to fix that. And so we're going to try and draw this with the field to finish now. Okay, so we're going to go into uh, survey. And we're going to say draw field to finish. And we're going to select that same CRD file, the surface one. Okay, and uh, we're going to draw all the points. Okay, and this is really important right here. We want to make sure that the code table is set to RH spot codes. And it is. Uh, so this should work. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to wait a few minutes because it's going to take a while to redraw all that. All right, guys. So we got these uh, spots generated now, uh, as you can see. Uh, so they uh, they look pretty good. The only problem is I've got the point number included, which uh, I don't want. <laughs> so let's see if we can figure that out. So in here, we want to... Let's see. So we're going to come in here under Fill to Finish where it says Additional Draw Options, and we're going to uncheck point numbers because we don't want that. And then we are going to run it one more time. Okay, guys, so these redrew now, and you can see they look the way I want. So uh, they don't have the point number, they've just got the spot elevation symbol, uh, the elevation, and the attribute. Uh, now there is a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done. So for example, uh, we've got overlapping labels here, uh, but we can go into point the point menu and say, let's see, move point attributes with leader, click the point, and then we can uh, just get these cleaned up where they overlap. Okay, so there's a, there's a bit of work to do there, but we can make that happen. Um, and that, and there you go. Now we got a drawing with uh, with spot elevations in it. So it took a while to draw, but uh, other than that, uh, works pretty slick. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.